Hello, my name is Scott Hutchison. Uh, I thought I'd show you my studio this evening. I get the question ever so often from my website or through email what my studio space looks like, um, where it is that I do my artwork. So I thought I would quickly uh, show you my space. Uh, the piece behind me is called Unraveling Sheba's Hair. It's been on my uh, easel for about a month now. Uh, it takes about, up about 10% of my space because all I have to do is spin. Do a slow 360 here and it still is only five seconds of video. So almost back to the beginning. So that's my studio space. I'm going to show you a little more detail here in a second. But um, I also get the question um, every once in a while of what a person needs to set up a studio. and this is a testament. This is an eight foot by eight foot closet, really. But this is a testament to um, the fact that you don't need that much. Um, a lot of what's in here is, you know, I have a lot of books. I have my work workspace because this is my office at Georgetown University, but also my studio. So I do admin as well as my um, digital editing for my for my artwork. And like I said, my wall of books and some still life objects. Um, a little bit of paperwork. But everything else is studio related. Uh, there's my artwork on the walls. I have no place to really store my artwork currently um, outside of my house. And so this is where my most recent work um, resides and, and corner of uh, space here as well as the walls like I said. And there's some reference materials pinned up. Um, and this is a new piece that I'm working on right now. No title as of yet. but just finished the uh, uh, the drawing on it, and you can see my tabaret, my table with my um, my paint supplies and brushes, and that is about it. So if you want to know what you need in a studio space, um, size matters based on uh, what you're going to be painting. But uh, uh, I've painted a four foot by six foot painting in this room, um, filled up half the space, but. But, it, but I made it work. All you need is an easel, for one, um, some good lights. I have a warm light and a cool light, so it's, it's uh, lit uh, well. And a table, the tab right here, a table for your supplies, and possibly another table for uh, still life setup, uh, whatever it is, the subject matter that you uh, want to paint, and a space that you can etch out in your home that that doesn't require moving too much um, because you want to be able to leave your work up and return to it later. So you don't need anything fancy. It can just be a corner of a room or a small office like this one. So uh, you can make it work. All right. Just thought I would show you and thanks for visiting. All right. Take care.